here in Trinidad and Tobago for a project uh, on occupational health and infectious control in healthcare settings. Uh, this is a project in partnership with the Ministry of Health in Trinidad, uh, PAHO, we have the University of British Columbia, the British Columbia Center for Disease Control, and the Vancouver Coastal Health. So, you know, your work's in the line of fire and that there was no... The work we're doing here is really building capacity. Uh, and building capacity isn't just training, uh, although training is very important. It's also ensuring that uh, the equipment that needs to be here is here, the systems are in place, the surveillance systems, the communication systems. Uh, this particular workshop uh, focuses on occupational health and infection control uh, and with particular emphasis on the appropriate use of personal protective equipment because it's often used incorrectly uh, which creates particular problems. Easily the most important thing that you should do to protect yourself is clean your hands. Clean your hands after any contact with patients, before contact with patients, and after removing your personal protective equipment. Practice the five moments of hand hygiene that WHO promotes. If you do that, you can prevent as many as one-third of hospital-acquired infections. So the participants uh, are going to learn about how to the use of PPE, personal protective equipment, as well as how to conduct a workplace assessment to evaluate the hazard and the risks that are in the healthcare settings. Health workers are at greater risk of uh, lots of infectious diseases compared to the population in general. Uh, hemorrhagic fevers, tuberculosis, influenza, and certainly in SARS, uh, in Canada, about half the people who developed SARS were health workers, uh, several of whom died. So it was a wake-up call for us to make sure that the, uh, there's clear communication policies and procedures and, and, and knowledgeable health workers about how to appropriately protect themselves. Uh, I'd like to add from an occupational health point of view that often health workers uh, put their own needs last. They feel that their mission is to help the patient. Uh, we need to take a lesson from the airline industry where when passengers are told put your own oxygen mask on first before you help the other passengers. We need to give that message to health workers as well. That they need to protect themselves in order to be able to provide good care to patients not only now but well into the future. Of the nose. Because we don't have to differentiate here. We say give the prophylactic as needed. So I think the future is bright for healthcare workers. Um, I think that with this workshop, we'll have a trained group of uh, content experts that will fan their knowledge out to other facilities and other countries that there are things that you can do with the physical environment from ventilation to other mechanical controls and there are things that you can do to control at the source the patient for example that can enhance their ability to feel safer and if we do that we've done a good job